SHOT SHOW 2023, we're at the Magpul booth. Everybody's been talking about the new DACA hard cases and the grid organization system they have. I have Jake here with me. He's going to take me through what they got. Yeah. So this is the uh, DACA grid case organizer for 2023. Essentially what we did is we, we looked at the, the internals of cases uh, and what's on the market right now. And essentially what you have is, is just foam, right? That's really it. There are obviously different types of foam that you can get. You can get pick and pluck. Um, you can go to a store or a business and get it kind of laser cut to a certain specific rifle. The problem is, is, is reconfigurability, right? The minute you take like your recce rifle, rifle and you, all of a sudden you want to put a red dot on it and pull that, that magnifier off, now you, you're, you know, you've kind of rendered that foam useless. Right. And if it's pick and pluck, I think we've all been there where we try to put it back together and we can't, mm -hmm. right? Um, so we, we kind of created this, the, the grid case organizer. So uh, essentially what you have is a, a drop-in solution, uh, drop-in organizational solution for hard cases. Um, the fitments right now that we're selling kind of online are for the Vault, Pelican Vault 730 and the Pelican Vault 800. Uh, okay. When our cases come out later on in the year, they'll be supplied in our cases, but we're gonna continue to kind of expand that product line to um, fit, fit basically the Pelican 1700 series, which is a 1720 and 1750. Yeah. They're, I don't know, 10 million of those things yeah, out on the right. market, you know? Um, and then we're going to start looking at the 1600 series, the, the tubs, and then just continue to expand, um, get into the uh, uh, the Plano all-weather cases, and then I, I think anything out on the market. Yeah, um, so really something for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and realistically, the, the great thing about this is that, you know, right now we're showing it with, with rifles, but, yeah. but at the end of the day, you can kind of put it in, you can put anything in it. Yeah, like camera gear? Camera yeah. gear is a big one. And, you know, we, we really want to address that stuff, too. So it, it's just not going to stop stop here. Um, so like I said, it's a, it's a drop-in organizational solution. So it's it's made of uh, EPP, a closed cell foam, so foam that's typically found in, like, bicycle helmets, motorcycle helmets. Um, the, the system drops into a case, an existing case, like if you were to have a Pelican vault, and then from there you get a number of blocks, these call them grid blocks. Um, they're featherweight. Yeah, very light. We have a, a triple. And they stick in there. Yeah, yeah, they're good. So we have a multitude of sizes, triples, doubles, different angled blocks um, to kind of fit and, and kind of tailor the system, which is semi-rigid, right? And right. Then, and then you can kind of fit whatever you want. We found that some of these angle blocks work really well if you're like a bow hunter um, or a rifle that has kind of a lot of irregular shapes. Yeah, you know I think what's probably the most different is that for our channel in general is that we do a lot of gun content and then we hunt. Yeah. So you have a bow case, but I could ultimately take a case and throw my AR in it and yeah. then the next day throw a bow inside of it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and there's not a case in the market I can do that with. No, no, and, and the beauty of it is it, it with any existing case, right in the in the long run is that's the goal we just yeah. want you to be able to drop it in and move on and then like you said the next day if i'm running a bolt gun on saturday mm -hmm. and then a gas gun on sunday you can then you can use the same thing and yeah. on top of that you're not cutting it specifically for yeah. that gun yeah absolutely it's nice yep and so you know after that we focusing on kind of the internals we we're also looking at the case market overall right um Cases are cases. I mean, let, let's face it, right? There's, there are a lot of things that you can change, but there's also a lot of things that are just kind of fixed, right? right? And and we just looked at the things that we knew that had been, I would say, kind of aggravating our, us over yeah. the years. I mean, 20 plus years of using these things in the military, right. as a civilian shooter, mm -hmm. you know. So so one of the the biggest thing is, is we looked at looked at size, right? I think everybody can agree that rifles have just been getting either bigger or I think more accessorized, right. right? So we didn't want to create a small case that couldn't fit a multitude of rifles. So we went with a larger platform. Um, we went with a deeper case and a wider case. Um, from there, you know, we started looking at the latches, the latch layout. Right. Um, what we find is a lot of cases have a number of latches, right? Whether it's four latches, six latches, and every yeah. single latch comes with a lock pass through. Yeah. And we know TSA, to be TSA compliant, every lock pass-through needs a lock, right. right? So we wanted to pare that down. So we ended up paring it down to two main large latches. Um, the first thing 
We want them to be easy to actuate, and we wanted like large, gross movements, right? You didn't want to have to use your thumbs. I think we've all like yeah. opened a Pelican case that's yeah, under yeah. load, and the thing snaps back, right? Yeah. Um, so again, gross movements. So you know, yeah. large movements. We want it to be easy and kind of intuitive. I didn't want to have to like move from one case to another. On those large 53-inch cases, you're like reaching yeah. all the way across. Um, mm -hmm. So just easy to manipulate. What's interesting about these is we added a, a button, right? So right. it has to be depressed to open the lo to latch. We also sent the made sure that the latch closes the case and that when you send a lock through, that the lock locks the case and the, and latch, the latch and the latch. Right, so that was the biggest secure. thing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If you've ever shipped a case and shipped it with a gun, you put locks on it, mm -hmm. right? So we created these lock pass-throughs that once you close the case, you know, your lock typically dangles down. You can run a zip tie or a strap through the lock body and it'll secure the lock to the case, right? Yeah, these things, yep. slick. Yeah, slick absolutely. Cases. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, we recess the wheels on the on the short ends so it'll stand on all corners, mm -hmm. which is great, right? And it stands well too. It's a really positive contact, so it's not like this wobbling around, gonna balancing fall over motion. On you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, kind of nesting lugs on the base, on all corners and long side, so it nests very well right. um, when stacked. We also place these, you know, kind of channels for for rat or straps. You know, if you're yeah. strapping it down in a vehicle. Large handles, like if you've ever carried a rifle case, let's say through SHOT Show, yeah. <laughs> or across the airport, you know that like large latches are important. They also hang, you know, will be in a fixed position, so they'll stay up. And uh, yeah, it was a great project and a great case to kind of work on and kind of figure out what we hated over the years. Yeah, and kind of absolutely, and I problems. think it solves a lot of those things. And I guess the only last question I have for you is, yeah. how about a price on these? Yeah, so if you were to buy, if you had a Pelican Vault 730 and you wanted to put an organizational system in it, so it would be 139. 139. For it, for the Vault 800, it's 159. Okay. And then um, the R44 will be coming out in uh, this summer. And then followed by the C35 and then R53, but it's 309, 339, and 369. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Jake, appreciate yeah. it, man. Thanks yeah. for showing us what you yeah, got. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you.